Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with TK. Today, you guys, I'm going to show you how I made this delicious, beautiful pan of cornbread. That's right, I made this cornbread in preparation, in preparation to make my cornbread dressing. Now, yes, my cornbread has a little crack in it because I cooked this old school Southern style cornbread. Yeah, I'm going to teach you how to make a delicious pan of cornbread. That's right. I am going to make this cornbread um, for my cornbread dressing. And I want to show you guys how I make cornbread, okay? What you will need is one cup of milk, one fourth cup of vegetable oil or vegetable shortening or bacon grease, that's one fourth cup, two large eggs, one cup of all-purpose flour, two cups, I mean one cup and one half of self-rising cornmeal. I have Martha's White self-rising cornmeal. Um, and you will need one fourth cup of sugar. Here I have a stick of butter because I pre-greased my baking pan with a stick of butter. You can use shortening, you do not have to use butter. But I use butter, so you can use butter or shortening. What you're going to do is preheat your oven to 450 degrees. Place your baking dish that you have pre-greased in the oven for five minutes. Mine is in here for it has about two and a half minutes to go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to get ready to mix all of our ingredients. Okay. So to mix my ingredients, I have me a whisk, I have a spatula. So let's go ahead, we're going to add one cup of all-purpose flour. If you don't have all-purpose, then go ahead and use your um, self-rising. We have one And a half cups of self-rising cornmeal. This is Martha's White self-rising cornmeal that I'm using. One fourth cup of granulated sugar. Two large eggs. And I'm repeating the ingredients because I get a lot of comments on what were the ingredients again. Okay. So now, before I add my oil and my milk, I'm gonna go ahead and mix these ingredients in, okay? Mix out everything together. Because I wanted to get that sugar around now. I should have mixed my sugar already. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my milk. This again is one cup of milk. Okay. These are exact measurements. Now we're going to add in the one fourth cup of vegetable shortening. If you don't have vegetable shortening, you can use one fourth cup of bacon grease, one fourth cup of lard. Just make sure that it's melted, okay? And you mix that in very well. Okay?
You had to use your lip, your elbow some on this, okay? Okay, now that you have everything mixed together, I'm going to get my um, baking dish out of the oven. Because it's pre-greased, okay? And now I'm going to add my cornmeal. So now I'm going to add my cornmeal to my um, baking dish. Okay? And remember, you guys, <clears throat> follow exact ingredients and exact measurements on this. And remember, this is self-rising cornmeal. If you want to know what brand I use, I use Martha's White. But if you don't have self-rising cornmeal, use self-rising flour. It's much easier. Okay, I'm going to use this cornbread for my dressing. You can use white cornmeal. You don't have to use yellow cornmeal, but that's what I have, yellow cornmeal. So that's what I'm using, okay? Okay. Now, let's get ready to go ahead and let's place our cornbread into our oven and we are going to cook this cornbread until it is done. I'm going to cook it maybe about four minutes extra because I wanted to have a certain density um, and dryness to it to make my cornbread dressing. Now that I have my cornbread in the oven, I will bake my cornbread for approximately 20 minutes and I'll be back once it's done. Okay everyone, so our cornbread is done. This is how you make cornbread. Now, I'm using this cornbread for my cornbread dressing. So that's why I let it stay in an extra five minutes. So I cooked it between 20 and 25 minutes. I wanted to get those crispy edges and I cooked this two days ahead of time of me making and preparing my dressing um, because you need to make it at least a day or two ahead before you make your dressing because you want it a little dried out to take the moisture out. Now, if you are going to just use this cornbread for a regular recipe, to eat, you would take it once it's finished, rub you some butter on the top of that cornbread, and serve it to your family just like that, okay? So, thank you for tuning in to Cooking with TK, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video so that you too can make your family some delicious cornbread. Um, anytime they would like or for your cornbread dressing that I am going to be making this is how you will make cornbread please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe um, share this video out with each and every one you know like I said hit that notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time I upload a video and thank you for choosing to watch cooking with TK on how to make a easy beautiful, delicious pan of cornbread. Have a great day, everyone.